I am so happy with that. Saturday night. What are you up to? Saturday night. Opening my new handheld Hoover. What about you? I am not going to get ill. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. I hope you're having a lovely weekend wherever you are, whatever you're doing. So this morning, I actually forgot to like intro the video, but Poppy and Sean popped over and they had bought Ottie a little Elsa dress. And it was honestly just the cutest thing ever. It really cheered her up. She absolutely loved it. I did actually film some clips on my camera. So I will insert those now. It's a present. What Poppy and Sean got you? Oh my god, it's got a plot! Yeah. <laughs> Elsa hair for Otis! <laughs> That's your first princess dress! Oh. And look, Elsa necklace. I always touch my earrings. The first of many princess dresses in your life, Alfie. This is it now. What? Oh my god, it looks so cute! <laughs> Look, you've got a crown. Oh, Otty. Let's go. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. So cool. Wow. Are you ready? <gasps> wow. Oh, Otty. Pretty earrings. Can you your arms up? And then once those guys left, I kind of got like half ready. I've done some very casual makeup today. We've gone lip oil, we've gone drunk elephant uh, bronzy drops with a bit of concealer. I've done my brows and I've just put like a very light layer of mascara on. And I think that that's gonna do me for today. One thing I really did want to try and do whilst Otty was down for her nap was to start wrapping some presents. As you know, we ordered some wrapping paper online the other day and it has arrived. And I just thought, if you enjoy this type of content, I personally do. <laughs> so there are a few bits to wrap. There's the presents that we bought Ottie when we went to Smith's. Then the other like Winnie the Pooh bits that we bought um, that I can add in. But there's also like some gifts. It's my mum's birthday next week. So I'm going to wrap some of those. I'm just going to see how much I can actually get wrapped during that time. <laughs> and I just feel like the more I can do, the more prepared I'm going to feel. There is something quite nice and therapeutic about just like sitting and wrapping. I've got old episodes of the Kardashians on the TV. That's going to keep me company. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be quite fun. I do enjoy wrapping presents when I'm not in a rush. The one time I hate wrapping presents is when you realize you've not wrapped the present like half an hour before you have to leave to go to see the person that you've not wrapped the present for. That's when I don't enjoy wrapping. And actually, Alfie is much better at the wrapping the present than I am. He's much more neat, he's much more calm, and I'm a little bit more slapdash, but I enjoy the like, the whole process. <laughs> I enjoy the whole process, the beginning to the end, and it does feel very satisfying when they're all wrapped. So I'm gonna see how far I get. Let's see how many we can wrap. Just getting a bit prepared, getting ahead. And because the wrapping paper arrived, I was just really excited to get it out. Okay, is this the wrapping paper or is this just a really bizarre shaped parcel of something else? I'm assuming it's the wrapping paper, <laughs> but it could be. It is the wrapping paper, okay. I went a bit wild with wrapping paper and I'm gonna give you my reasons behind this. When it comes to people's birthdays, I love the process of Alfie and I sitting down and thinking about what we're gonna get someone and getting it, but we don't always think about the wrapping paper. Not that it's really that important, but sometimes we genuinely don't have any. And I was like, I feel like the same with cards, it's quite nice to have like a little backup of wrapping paper and cards that you've just always got to hand. I actually saw somebody, it might have been a TikTok, that ordered 
one of those files that like fans out and it had 12 pockets and they had bought birthday cards so in january they had bought birthday cards for everyone's birthday throughout the year and they had written them and put them in the slots for the rest of the year and i was like that is so organized and i freaking love that idea so much that i bought the file and i never did anything with it <laughs> i feel like that really does sum me up though if i'm honest but what an amazing idea like you're never going to forget someone's birthday if it's one you need to post whack the address on there stick the stamp on just get it ready to go like that is some forward thinking and i'm here for it so i was like well how can i make this easier so that we're not like dashing out last minute to like find some wrapping paper to wrap the present and i was like just have a permanent little stash of wrapping paper uh we do actually have a wrapping paper um what are they called storage box we've got a wrapping paper storage box which i actually ordered on amazon so i'll see if i can find one and link it below it's like the perfect long shape for wrapping paper it's really skinny it's really nifty and i love that it's currently full of christmas wrapping paper though because i clearly have a problem and christmas wrapping paper is like my vibe <laughs> not so useful if you want to wrap presents throughout the rest of the year though so i was like let's just add to this box that we have and put some more general wrapping paper in there so that is why there appears to be quite a lot okay i'm just justifying this now <laughs> right <laughs> that's an object in wrapping paper <laughs> i was just explaining on here my thought process behind just having like a nice stash always ready to go I think it's crucial and the same with cards. You're That's what very, I just said. Very good at stocking up cards. Just said that too. It's, it's having the stock up. Because it's nice to sit down together and think of the present, but you're not always thinking about the wrapping paper or the card. I ordered these from John Lewis and these are the ones I got. So I got two of these. These are the Emma Bridgewater. Oh, recyclable roll wrap, three meters each. How pretty. It's just some very like delicate little flowers. These. Which I thought would be pretty cute for Otty's presents. And it's just little cherries and little strawberries with the tiny little faces on them. These ones are by someone called Eleanor Stewart. And I thought they were really nice, like some just abstract navy flowers. I've got two of those. Oh, how do you feel about this one for your dad? Oh, he'll love that. Yeah. He'll love that so Dinosaurs. Much. For Abby's dad and any children, <laughs> basically. Birthday dogs, just great for any other like kids, toddlers. Otty's friend Ralph loves dogs. I thought he would really like his present wrapped in this. I might pop out. Oh, okay. Where are you going? I just looked in the fridge and there's nothing I really want for lunch. Okay, where are you going to go? I don't know, just go get a sandwich from somewhere. All right. I was, in, I was in, bring it back. Yeah, okay. I'll go the only issue those. is like, it's already half past two. Is it? No, okay, maybe not. What's the time? I know it's not. Oh, I know it's been good. Say, how ten how to have I been doing this ten to two. for an hour? Okay. And then wow. this last one is just a mermaid one. Because I feel like Ottie kind of loves mermaids right now. So I thought that might be quite nice to wrap some of her presents in as well. So there we go. Those are the wrapping papers. Shall we get wrapping? I think we should. One of these, absolutely essential. Enjoy the time lapse. Oh, I ordered like some. Oh, they didn't send it. I ordered some like ribbon. If you want to know specifics of what we bought Otty, most of these things I've shown in previous um, vloggist videos. Uh, I feel like in two of them I talked about what we've already bought her. The only new thing that I've not mentioned is this which we got on amazon because she is obsessed with this video on youtube of somebody playing with one of these it's a little like woodpecker feeding game and it's magnets and you just pull the little worms out so that's the only one i've not like shown but the rest you can see through previous um vloggers videos if you're interested Pretty much 
much finished wrapping. I was just wrapping up Ralph's birthday present. So I did this bit and then Ottie came and helped me do the uh, last bit. <laughs> Bless her. So it's like a, a half wrapped well, half wrapped by an almost two year old. But I do think it's very cute that she wanted to get involved and help. Look at you! Uh, Ottie is picking her welly boots to wear today. And you want mummy to wear these ones? Okay, well I'll tell you what, since we're just going over to Joe and Diane's, I'll put the hot. And nanny. And we're gonna see nanny as well, that's right. I'll put the hot slippers on for now, but then I might change them before we go, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, are you in charge of what and shoes we wear? What shoes what should shoes daddy wear? wear? Do you wanna go pick some? Pick some shoes for daddy. Oh, can daddy wear these ones? Yeah. Oh. Oh, they've been picked. Which one should I wear? Different. My white Crocs. I mean, at least yours have got a bit of air in them. Do you know what I mean? I'm wearing woolen slippers. Winter slippers. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Ready to roll? So you may have just picked that up. We are heading over to my brother's and Diane's for an hour or so this afternoon, which will be really nice. I think it will be good to get outside, do something a bit different. We've been in the house for like a day and a half solid. Feels long. Which, which doesn't sound long, but when you've got a toddler and a toddler who's got a bit of a cold, that's long, that's long. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna break up the day a bit and just head out for some company. What else is on that song? Can you do Let It Go? Let It Go, Let It Go, Let It Go. Oh, Hector. Hector. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't put that too close to your mouth because she's got a cold. <laughs> That's Otty's microphone now. <laughs> Otty's playing Twister. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to cover this in stickers and put my Oh my god, you look so much like you when you just did that. Oh. You got excited, Otty. Oh. That's it, not so close. So you, need, you need to hear it better. <laughs> <laughs> if you go here, you're going to have to <laughs> Disinfect that. <laughs> the saliva on that. <laughs> Happy birthday. See how far away? I really do have things. A little face afterwards. She's so okay. chocky herself. <laughs> Hello, guys. It is a little bit later on. Oh my God, my hair. <laughs> and all day I really fancied myself an iced chocolate. Yeah. And I always get so many questions every time I make one of these. It's the most simple thing ever. But for anyone who doesn't drink coffee or just doesn't really like the taste of coffee and wants to like replicate that feeling of having an iced coffee that you see everyone else and you kind of get a bit jealous because you're like that looks so good but I don't drink coffee and I don't like the taste of coffee iced hot chocolate is the way to go a lot of coffee shops actually do do them so they're like usually on the menu in places one to look out for if like me you're not a huge coffee lover so I thought I'd make it now and I would show you how I make it it's the most simple thing in the world glass Ice. Fill your glass with ice. That do. Lovely jubbly. Then you want to get your drinking chocolate powder of choice. I actually have no plain chocolate drinking powder right now, but I do have my Christmas mint flavour M&S drinking chocolate. But actually, I do quite like a minty cold chocolate drink. That's usually my go-to order in Starbucks. So I'm hoping 
This is gonna taste like the Starbucks mint chocolate cream frap. Right, you get your powder, you get another little glass. Maybe if I push you back a bit. You wanna do a couple of heaped teaspoons, maybe three. Three heaped teaspoons. Oh my God, that smells so good. Then you want to add a little bit of hot, very hot or boiling water. Only enough that this turns into like a bit of a paste. Then just mix it together. You just want to make sure there's no powdery bits, basically. Alfie's saying to use this. Oh God, this is going to go everywhere, gorgeous. I'm scared. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, if you have a bigger cup, you can use that. Or if you were doing it straight into here, you could probably use that. But I don't do that. Okay, this will do. You simply pour this into here. Oh, that looks so good. So then you've got your chocolate. And then you just top up with your milk. Whack your straw in, give it a little stir, and there you go. Iced chocolate. Oh my god. This tastes exactly like the chocolate creams with a shot of peppermint that I ordered from Starbucks. Oh my gosh. Why have I never thought to do it with mint hot chocolate before? Absolute game changer. This is basically like a, just a hot day staple just so good i love it anyway i've made a right old mess of that so let's clear that away <laughs> try this how much does that taste like what i ordered from starbucks you turn into like a drinks the queen of content <laughs> yeah you're like a drinks creator <laughs> why am i making so many drinks i don't know and i started off this cold. month with the cost with the um prep cold things whoa doesn't it taste exactly the same? Tastes like the little um, aero balls. Yes. You know, like the puffy balls. Yeah, mint aero chocolate balls. I have a photo that I want to put in this frame, but I thought it might be quite fun to share with you <laughs> some of the outtakes of when we shot our little pregnancy announcement. Let me see. I think this might be the first attempt. <laughs> My favourite is how not into it Ottie is in this photo. <laughs> it makes me laugh so much. So that one's, that's a goodie. This one is also very cute. And she's actually kissing the, where, can you see it? It's like focusing on, she's kissing the scan photo, which is so adorable, but it does mean you can't actually see what it is. <laughs> So again, a very cute set of photos, but uh, wasn't the one. One of the things we did was before we left, we were like, let's just let Otty stand on the seat and take some photos just on her own. And I think these are my favorite set of photos that of Otty that I've ever taken. And we want to try and make a tradition of doing this with her at least once a year so this is obviously when she was one and then we'll do another one around the same time next year maybe i need to like write the date do you remember when we did this was it july i'll have it in my, in my i phone. kind of want to write the date on the back so that we don't forget when we have to do it next year yeah so these are the photos oh, yeah. that we took yeah. of ottie in the photo booth how good are they this one the last one with the sideways hat is just too good. We wanted to put this in a frame because we just loved it so much. So I actually ordered this um, wiggle frame from Glassette. We have quite a lot of frames from Glassette in our house. They are amazing. I love them. I've actually got this exact frame in a bigger size. Is this going to work? I might need white behind it. It's a little bit small gonna have this in it yeah it's a bit small how am i gonna do this it needs like a something behind it or oh my god i've got a great idea bear with 
because it's only a tiny bit i'm gonna just use a little bit of this lovely emma bridgewater wrapping paper so it'll just look like a little border that might be quite nice rip the wrapping paper that's annoying heel here i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying <gasps> but you got your elsa dress again do you want to put it on yes. yeah yes. okay yeah i know you're putting her elsa dress on her yeah but have you seen the time oh, no yeah. it's definitely not elsa dress time oh is it elsa goes to bed time oh We'll just put this on for a little bit. <laughs> just for a minute. <laughs> just for a minute while you help mummy. Hang on. First things first is I would not recommend you buy this wrapping paper from John Lewis. I'm not impressed. Look at me trying to rip these easy peel off things. I've gone through like two layers of wrapping paper just to get this off. We'll ignore the bit that looks like it's been shredded. And we'll just go for a bit that isn't. <laughs> right, I've cut a square. A square that is far too big. <laughs> I've stuck it down, so it now looks like this. That's actually very cute. Now, let's pick this out of the frame and let's stick this down in the middle. Cute! Do a little bit of double sided. Ta da! Stick it back in. There we go. Oh my god, I am so happy with that. I need to do that in more frames that I have that things don't quite fit in because that was easy to do. And even if you've got a frame that doesn't have a mount, you could do that but just make it bigger. There we go. All done. Right, I better head up for bed and bath and I'll see you in a bit. I've received some more parcels and I can't remember what I've ordered. <laughs> so let's open them. I feel like this could be some more wallpaper samples, which I'm actually quite excited about. Is it? No. It's a card. It's a birthday card that I ordered that came in this massive thing. I ordered that from John Lewis. They must have just sent it separately. Okay. It's a little birthday lovely card. card. It's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Oh, and then this is the... I said earlier on, I was wrapping the presents and I was like, oh, the ribbon hasn't arrived because I wanted to wrap Otty's presents with this cute ribbon. Here's the ribbon. <laughs> They've sent it all in like loads of separate little packages. That's so random. Okay, just these for now then. Oh, I did order us a new handheld hoover. Is it here? Yeah. Well, let's crack them open. I, it was exciting. just a big box for me to carry through. Go and grab it. Where it's by it? the front door, I think, in the Amazon box. I'm excited for that one. Our handheld hoover we've had for like four years. It just doesn't really work anymore. I've tried cleaning out the filter. I've tried everything. It's just had it. So I did the adult thing of reading a lot of Amazon reviews and ordered myself a new one. <laughs> They're just handy for like, yes. huh? There's two other packages. Is there? Yeah, this one. There's a small one as well. What's this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My own coffee subscription. <laughs> I thought you knew just that one bag. In box. Do you only get one bag delivered? Yeah, I pay for my own subscription. Do you actually? Yeah. Yeah, because I've got to test that everything's being delivered nicely. Mm. So which one have you gone for today? <laughs> Focus. Focus Everyday Blend. Is this the one you get every time or do you, do you mix it up? Switch it up. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> if you do drink coffee, look at that sun coming in. I know, I want to get outside. I feel like Vlogmas has reached peak excitement levels with this handheld Hoover haul. <laughs> Saturday night. What are you up to? Da, 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 no. <laughs> Opening my new handheld Hoover. What about you? Oh, you're at the bar. Oh, you're oh, out. Oh, you're out with friends having a good you're time, out, letting out. your hair down. Yeah, we don't, well, I don't do that anymore. I'm charging my my handheld Hoover. That's I'm what just I'm doing. about to put my um, my robot in the paddling pool to clean it, and then I'm just going to have a little test go on my new handheld. Hoover. Oh my god. 
That's a serious hand of Hoover. Isn't it? It's a G-Tech. Did you research into a goodie? Yeah. Did you actually? Yes. Alfie seems to think I don't research anything before I buy it. I love looking at the reviews. Peel this off. Well, that's the best bit. Cool, and that's a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm taking it for a spin. That's good. I'm taking it for a test drive. Wait there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what you say. Okay, he's very good. Okay, told you. Also, that has way more power than our other one. Okay, I'm upstairs and I was just sorting through some of the bits that I've already bought for Baby Girl. And I thought it would be nice to share some of them with you. I really haven't bought that much, if I'm totally honest. A lot of the stuff we have, I already had with Ottie, but there are some things that I've like bought recently. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna sit down and do a like newborn favorites video, like all the things that I absolutely loved with Ottie as a newborn that I will be either repurchasing or using again for my second baby. So if that is something that interests you, that will be in tomorrow's video because we are actually spending the afternoon out celebrating my mum's birthday so there won't be as much to film tomorrow so I thought it would be a really nice opportunity to sit down and do that because so many of you have asked me for it. You may have seen this briefly in my favourite shops in the North Lanes Brighton but I bought this from Junior Edition. This is by Conjus Lodge. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's a tiny little baby grow with hot air balloons. And I think it's rabbits <laughs> jumping from the hot air balloons. It's very cute. I basically fell in love with that and had to buy it. Alongside the matching teeny tiny newborn leggings. I also picked up a couple of these. These were from... I don't remember where I got them, what website I got them from, but they're from the brand Pure Baby. And they are just like teeny tiny zip up sleep suits. This one has like little, oh, what's that flower called? The one in spring that's like really messy when you touch it. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but it's got little flowers on it and it's just very cute. And that is in, I wanna say like newborn. Yeah, zero zero newborn also has the little fold over mitts and then i got another one i feel like two of these came in a set together maybe um and this one's just stripey like beige and white stripes they're so soft and then this one as well with these little flowers on nice and simple with the scratch mitts these are the sorts of thing i'll probably take into hospital with me for like her first outfits those and anything of Otties as well that we've got. I then ordered this on Vinted. <laughs> I wanted like a little handmade, cute, hand knitted, tiny cardigan because when they're that small and you're bringing them out of hospital, everything just seems to like swamp them. So I ordered this and it said newborn. This is absolutely tiny. <laughs> so I think this is doll. <laughs> I don't think this is going to fit. This is going to be too small. It's going to be very, very tight. I mean, I can take it just in case. But I have a feeling this is just going to end up on one of Otty's dolls, if I'm honest. It was very cute. I would have just liked for it to have been a tiny bit bigger. Never mind. Then I ordered a new nappy caddy. Nappy caddies? I mean, I'll get into this in tomorrow's video, but nappy caddies are an essential with a newborn baby. I think I used Otty's nappy caddy right up until she was like eight months, I wanna say. Maybe even longer than that. The one I have is actually quite huge. So I just wanted like a little one that I can just like carry that doesn't have, you know, as many things in, wasn't as bulky and could just like s slide next to the sofa. Um, so this one is by the brand Avery Row, and it's just got little daisies inside. And then these are all the sections, and then you've also got a little section on the front. But yeah, a new little nappy caddy. Treat myself. Also bought a new changing mat. Let me take this off. This is actually a changing mat cover. And the reason I like this one, I like that it has the like anti-roll sides, so they go up at the side. But this one I love for newborn 
just because I found with Ottie she hated being changed on a like cold waterproof surface especially during the night when she's been like so warm and like wrapped up and it's like dark and cozy and then we just put her on like a cold changing mat so i feel like with ottie i had one from west elm and that was so much better but i would say maybe get a couple because yeah babies do have wee wee accidents on these that's the only thing to bear in mind but very easy to wash and it's obviously waterproof underneath i just wanted to get this cover on top so it's just fabric down the sides and then it's like this toweling down the middle so that's what the baby actually lies on and I quite liked that for newborn with Otty. And then obviously eventually she didn't care as much, so it didn't matter. So that is from Little Dutch. It's got really lovely floral pattern on it. I love the colours of that. Very autumnal. And then the anti-slip mat underneath. It's also very pretty. It's got these lovely like blue flowers on it. And this is from Mama Shack there's mama shack down here when the baby comes home alfie and i will do the same thing we did with ottie where we basically turn this dressing table into a changing station for the middle of the night because that's what we did last time we kept the nappies in the drawer we had a little night light on the side and we had this over there ready to go it worked very well i made full use of the amazon prime day sales and i bought some mam bottles these are like the teeny tiny easy start zero months bottles i had these for otty because i expressed so alfie was also able to feed her which was an absolute lifesaver so i'm hoping i'm able to do the same thing again so i have reordered it's actually mad to me like how tiny these bottles start off they're so teeny tiny oh my god and then the biggest purchase so far was this this is the nanit pro and this is the wall mount version we also bought the floor stand version with otty absolutely love that camera i love everything it tracks i love how easy it is to see it on your phone i absolutely love it and you can have like dual screen so i knew i wanted to get another one for the baby's room in fact i think what we'll do is use the one that otty currently has with the floor stand for the baby so that we can put that in here for a while and then move it into her room kind of like we did with otty but i'm gonna wall mount this one into otty's room because that isn't gonna need to be moved once that's in there above where her bed is gonna go it can pretty much stay there as long as it's high enough that she can't reach it that is that's all the little bits that i've bought so far and as i said i will do a little like newborn favorites video tomorrow and things that i will for sure be using with baby too but that is it from me today we are gonna go and make dinner and again i think i'm gonna have a bit of an early night i have powered through today guys i've powered through wasn't feeling great but actually this is a great distraction i feel like I could easily curl into a ball and go, I really don't feel well. <laughs> but the fact that I'm like, no, no, I want to vlog. I want to share parts of our day. This is vloggist. I ain't missing a day. I think has kept me quite distracted. It's definitely a mind over matter situation here. As I said, my vitamin C has arrived. I'm going to be putting that in all my drinks, all the drinks I love to make apparently in vloggist. Hopefully I'm feeling a bit better tomorrow. I have to say I am starting towards the end of today. My throat doesn't feel as awful. It doesn't feel like I've swallowed like a thousand shards of glass anymore so that's promising hopefully it stays that way and i do think otty is starting to feel a little better as well her mood definitely picked up when we went to see joe and diane which was lovely i think i was a bit inspired by what's that oh i kicked like a conker my hair <laughs> i haven't looked at myself in the mirror before i left oh my god so i think i was a little bit inspired by myself yesterday going to what are you sniffing come on going to get my nails done by myself and it being like good and nothing happened to me and i didn't faint and i was okay that tonight i've done nala's dog walk by myself obviously alfie and i can't both go on a dog walk once otty's in bed it's usually alfie because i don't like to go out on my own i was like tonight i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go out by myself got my phone on me i can always call alfie if i don't feel good or if i need to sit down it's not the end of the world, I can do it. And it's actually the nicest evening. It's cool and a little bit breezy and the sunset was amazing. And 
I'm also just majorly convincing myself and my body that I am not, I am not gonna get ill. Breathing in the fresh air, taking it nice and slow. Nala's not a dog that needs to run around. She's, she's easy breezy. She's quite happy to waddle alongside me. Tell you what, this is one thing I'm gonna really miss when it starts to get darker is the fact that you just have so much more of the day to do things like this. In winter, we've got to cram a dog walk in somewhere in the day whilst it's still light. But in the summer, you just get all this extra time when Otty's gone to bed. You can, like, I can still get back now and like make dinner and stuff. That is definitely one thing I'm really gonna miss. And one thing that I've really enjoyed as part of Vlogust, the day just feels so much longer. I feel like there's so much more we can do. <laughs> so much more room for activities. This is just what I needed to clear away the cobwebs, clear my lungs, clear my head, and also just prove to myself that I can go out by myself. And it doesn't always mean that I might faint. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed it and that you've had a nice start to your weekend. Although as you're watching this, it's Sunday, so it's the end of your weekend. But I hope you've had a lovely weekend anyway. And I will see you again tomorrow, like I said, with a newborn favourites and things I will definitely be using for baby number two. So if that is of interest to you, then I think you'll really enjoy it. But yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!